What a crazy morning. What the hell just happened? I can't believe I should have taken the camera and filmed it. It's been an unbelievably crazy morning. As you can see on the tile up there, I got some PC games for free. Now, this all started a couple of weeks ago. Um, I was in a charity shop and I was looking through the DVDs and all that kind of stuff. And there's this guy sort of reaches across me and I'm looking for video games. He reaches across me and I sort of move to the side and because the, the shelves are sort of narrow. And he's like, oh, yeah, you're right, mate. And so I'm, I'm sort of looking. I look down, he's got this big sort of um, basket full of, of movies, you know. And I ask him, I'm like, you're a reseller. And he was like, he goes, oh no, I, I collect video uh, movies. I've got like 10,000, you know, I'm like, wow, okay. And then and then he starts telling me, he's like, he's like, you collect video games? I said, yeah, yeah, I've got some PC stuff I found here. He goes, I've got a heap of PC stuff that I was gonna throw into the fire, you know. So I ask him, are they in the boxes or are they just like these DVD cases? He's like, yeah, they're just the DVD cases, you know. So he's like, if you want them, you can come and pick them up. And then I'm thinking, well, if he's got this big collection of, of movies, maybe I can pick the games up and then maybe do a film or video of his whole collection, you know what I mean? So I thought that might be a good idea. So anyway, I give him my number and yeah, I didn't hear from him for about a week. I knew, I wasn't sure if I would. Then he sends me a message, found the video games, there are about 10 to 15 to 20 of them. And he sends me his address, you know? So, and I reply back saying, Look, I've got a small YouTube channel. Would you be interested in doing a little bit of a tour of your um, of your movie collection you set up? And I never heard back from him from about another, maybe four or five days. And I was almost gonna give up going after this, but I, as I always say, you never know what you're gonna get unless you go find out. So this is the box here. I haven't even be looked at it yet. I'm just sort of, I'm a bit scared actually what's in there, you know? So anyway, he, he, then he, he doesn't reply to me. So I'm like, you know what? I'll say, can I pick it up tomorrow at 10 a.m.? So I picked it up, it's now about 11.30 at the moment. I've just got back. What a crazy day. It's a, it's raining outside. I tried to cut through this sort of back road and it's like, I was just cruising the land and I've been to places I've never even seen before. I got lost, took the wrong turning, I'm going the wrong way. Then I go back, get back on the main road and I find this road where he's on it. It's a dirt road, it's just potholes, puddles everywhere like even cattle grids that I went through and, and I went past his property, he gave me the wrong number. Anyway, so, and then, and he's and it's just in the middle of nowhere, like fully just in the middle of nowhere, this back road. And he's like, go back, it's up the hill, you'll see a bulldozer or something near a shed so I, at, on the hill. So I, I figure this is his house. The driveway is just like that. Man, I was gonna take the other car out today and like, if it, if it wasn't raining, I probably would have, but I wouldn't have even got the other car up there. Like, you needed almost a four-wheel drive. It was just so crazy. And I'm just like, what? I wasn't even sure if it was his house, you know? So, now I get to the top and I see him walk out and he's like waving something. At least I found the right place. Next thing, these freaking dogs come out, these two big Alsatians, you know, like huge. And he's like, don't get out the car, you know? You know I don't want anyone eating today. And I'm just like, thinking, oh my God. Then the, the dog, jumps up onto the window where I've got the window sort of half down on the driver's side and I swear man it was like as big as a fucking bear <laughs> his hands were like that and it's just like looking at me through the window you know and I'm like oh my god <laughs> so anyway they drag it away it's the dog is filthy you know what I mean it's filthy it's so wet muddy they drag the dog away Anyway, there's another dog on the other side that's sort of tied up on a chain or something, you know what I mean? Anyway, and he's sort of tr trying to get over to where I am in the middle there. Anyway, so like, come and get out the car now, and you come and get out the car. So I get out the car, the, 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 the woman takes the other dog away, and then he leads me past the, the other dog. He's like, don't worry about it, it's all right. And then there's just, honestly, there's dog shit everywhere. There's just big m mounds of dog shit everywhere, you know what I mean? So he's like, oh, watch the dog shit, you know? So I'm, I go up to the sort of where there's a shed up the left there and he gives me this box here, you know. And he sort of, he sort of slowly, he sort of funnels through it a little bit. I see a couple of the games, I'm just like, oh my God, was this worth the trip, you know what I mean? So, but as I say, if you never know what you're gonna find unless you get out there, you never know what experience you're gonna have. It's just been a crazy morning, man. I was driving back just going, what the hell just happened, you know? Hence, I need a beer. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you what games we got, and I'm gonna, even I'm gonna look and see what games we got as well, because I'm just, uh, I'm frightened, I'm frightened. Maybe these ones have gone to fire as well. Anyway, subscribe to the channel, there's always random stuff going on here, you never know what the next video is gonna be. Even I didn't know that this video was gonna be the next video, so let's just get started, eh? All right, I almost feel like I need to wear gloves, it's like that dirty, but oh, I've got a sealed game. That's not even a game, it's called 
Gunnar's Core Secrets Full Body Challenge. So I don't know what that is, but there's a sparky looking woman on the front. <laughs> so yeah, it's sealed. Not again. Not a good start, is it? And there's another one here. Okay, we've got a, a double shots Assassin's Creed. So we've got Assassin's Creed 1 and 2. Let's see if the games are in there. Well, they're in there. So that's a good, fairly good start. I think obviously the um, I think the case is going to need a good clean, so that's fine. You know, that's fine. We'll give them a good clean. It's, like, it's a little bit of a hobby of mine, cleaning. So at least we've got a game. I've got another PC game here. This one's Finding Nemo. So I'm not sure if there's a market for any of these. So obviously, I don't want Finding Nemo game. It doesn't really interest me at all. It probably some sort of maybe like mini game for kids or whatever. So we'll, there's Finding Nemo. And we got this one here. What is this? The Down Under Collection. What is that? What is it? The Down Under Collection Deluxe. The Down Under Collection Deluxe is a clip art library of over 1,500 Australian images, both in full colour and black and white. Well, there you go. There's a lot of clip art there. That might be, that might be all right, that one. All right, next we've got is this Reader Rabbit Wordville Soup. <laughs> hey, what do you know, man? Look at this. Check this out. Awesome. Discover words, their meaning, and how they relate to one another. So, yep, that one's going on to eBay for sure. What else we got? Oh, wow. The legend, Shane Warne. Shane Warne, interactive DVD game. Interest. Put your knowledge to the test. So there you go. DVD games, a new way to play. So that's interesting. I've never played a DVD game. So there you go. Shane Warne's cricket test. Interesting. All right, next we're going to pull out another one. This is Just Cause, Best of Atari. Um, yeah, I've got Just Cause, I think, on the Xbox 360, but that's just it there, just the disc. You know, they just feel so grubby, you know, they just got all grainy with dust. So that's another one, another game. Well, we've got another one here. This is called Phonics One for Beginners. Who knows what that is? What is it? Developed in conjunction with the Australian New Zealand school curriculum. There you go. It's just a kid's thing, so we'll get rid of that too. All right. Lucky dip. What's next? Oh, God. Lucky me. Ma Yong. Oh God, I hate those sort of games. Maybe someone will like it. At least so far, the discs are in there, you know. So that's one good thing about it. <coughs> I'm coughing because of the dust. Oh, God. Another one of this one. Start French. You never know. I found out lately that Andy can sell on eBay, so you know maybe we'll sell some of these. What's this? How to tighten, how to tone and tighten your body. I think a lot of these. That's just garbage as well. This looks. Oh, this is. I think I've got that game up there actually. It's Warhammer Reckoning. This is the online game. Yeah, Warhammer Online Age Reckoning Collect. That's the collector's edition. <laughs> PC. Well, just disc one. So that's that. Ah, what else we got? Another double. Oh, great. Harry Potter, another franchise I'm not really into at all. I've never seen a Harry Potter movie ever. And I've never played a Harry Potter game. But you know what? You know what, bro? It looks pretty small in there with that one. So we might clean that one up. We might be able to get a few dollars for that one. And what's this one here? <coughs> Golf Resort Tycoon. That sounds pretty interesting. Looks like you can sort of like almost like a little... You know, sim game, so to say. You watch so dirty, honestly. And even the taste, it just like tastes nasty, you know what I mean? What's that? <laughs> What's this one here? Dark Siders 2. I've got that one on Xbox 360. Yeah, it's got the, it's got a manual and a few bits of bits and pieces in there, so that's alright. That's alright. All I need is enough money to pay for the petrol to get there and back, right? And we've got another one here. What's this one? Hidden Objects. Yeah, I know there's a few of those ones. I used to play a few Hidden Object ones on the on the iPad, actually. I didn't mind them. They were a bit of fun. Yeah, the Crystal Portal. Mystery of the Crystal Portal. <laughs> Let's learn Italian. I should probably learn that one working in an Italian restaurant. And we've got this one here. Victor, Victor Vector Thrust. So this is, looks like some sort of simulation game or an aeroplane game. Yep, that's that. How many have you got to go? There's still about another 10 or 15 in there. It's gave me more. What's this? Scrapbooking black and white photos for layouts. What's this? This city has been designed to encourage creative black and white photography. 
You never know. You never know. And we've got this one. Ooh, it's a it's a mystery. It's a mystery game. Oh, it's even been upside down, bro. Oh my god, what is it? Humphrey Bogart. Look at that, just some burnt CD. <laughs> What's next? Oh god, that one there, crap. Crap, bro. What's this next one? Agatha Christie Double Murder Mystery Pack. So that's a PC gun, that's interesting, was it? And then there was none, so I never really sort of saw that one before. Looks like you got CD2 in there, is it? Oh no, there's two CDs, that's all right. So CD, yeah, CD1 and 2 in that. All right, come on, bro, let's pull out some gems, here we go. Oh, no, that's not a, anything but a gem, my own gem. Two, what's this one? Oh, look at that, it's just all, oh, it's so brittle, it's just falling apart. What's this one? Evil, evil genius. Oh, it's so, it's disgusting. <laughs> and another blank one. A couple of, um, couple of burnt DVDs. Movies. Oh. Command and Conquer. Woohoo. Tiberian Wars, I think I've already got that one. Uh, no, I think I've got it on. Um, I've got that on Xbox 360. But look inside it, you know. Look how dirty it is, man. Far out. <coughs> I have to put them out the back as soon as possible. Titanic. Oh, that is. Join Eva and her family as they take a cruise on the ship. There we go. Travel back in time and save the ones you love in this hidden object adventure game. At least we can do a couple of bundles, maybe. Um, this one here, what's his PC? Yep. Spy Fox, that sounds interesting. Help save the world's milk supply. Dry cereal, mm, interesting. And Aussie Maths Invaders, oh my gosh, seriously. Have we hit a new low here? Have we really scraped the bottom of the barrel? Sometimes we have winners, sometimes we have losers. Come on, give me some more good games. Oh great, Shanghai. Crap, how many have got left here? We still got a few more to go, there's some Oh, business label maker. It can be interesting. We'll do a follow up movie on this, see what ones I can sell. What's this one? Another 101 Kids Brainy Games. Wait, these are going straight out in the shed as soon as I finish this. Earthworm Jim, $1. That might be. A, I don't think I've got any Earthworm Jim's games, though. There you go. There's something I'm familiar with. What is this? A bag, bro. Oh, we've got, we've got Sim City, mate. Oh, this one's got this one's got the lenticular sort of style cover. Man, this is the. I think I've already got that one as well somewhere in there. But it's a collector's edition. I've never seen this lenticular. Oh, it's a steel book too. All right, well that's not too bad. That's pretty cool. I do like that one. That one will stay in my collection. Beautiful. We got one out of what thirty. There's a couple more. This one, Desperate Housewives, the game. Ooh, that's awesome. Moderate themes, <clears throat> violence, drug, and references, and sexual references. Cool. Desperate Housewives. Didn't you know there was a game for that. And the final two games is crap. Now it's getting real dirty at the bottom of here. <clears throat> really dirty. Oh, oh my god, there's some shit at the bottom there. You can disgusting. And Buzz Lightyear. Well, that's it for today's video. Do I want to show you what's in the bottom of that one? Oh, there's something else in there. What's this? Oh, an empty, little empty case. Oh, it's so disgusting. All right, well, thanks for sticking around for watching the end. I don't know how many of you people got to the end, but like I said, if you've got to follow your, uh, follow your leads, because you never know. You never know what's going to happen. All right, well, I'll see you guys on the next video, hopefully. Thanks for sticking around. Subscribe on the way out. You won't regret it, I guarantee it. All right, see everyone. Take it easy.